Hey there, spirits, and welcome back to the graveyard. My name's Soul, and this is my ghost friend, Art. Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this car magnet for my sibling's birthday. Whoa, okay, um, how did I become a magnet? Okay, never mind, let's just get started. The materials you'll need are sticker paper, laminate sheets, and cuttable magnet sheets. The tools and machines you'll need are an iPad or some way to draw your design, a computer with the Cricut app, a printer, a laminator, make sure your laminator can accommodate for the thickness of the magnetic sheet, a Cricut, a heavy grip mat, and a deep cut blade. The first thing I'm doing is designing the magnet in Procreate. I drew inspiration from those anime peeker stickers that are really popular right now. Yeah, I see you, you weeb. Since my sibling has a cute avatar they use, I decided to make that as my character. This was a birthday gift for them, but they said no stickers, and that's when I came up with the idea for magnets. Okay, a magnet? Magnets? Do you know magnet? Magnet? They didn't want to add any stickers or decals to their new Tesla, and magnets are a great way to add customization without damaging your car. The magnet is strong enough that you don't have to worry about the wind blowing them off if you put them in the right spots on the car. Now, I'm going to be speeding through the sticker process because I've already went into depth about how to make stickers on my one-shot sticker video. Go watch that one after you finish this one. I'm just going to be going over the magnetic specific parts in this DIY video. Once I exported it as a transparent PNG, I'm going to upload it into the Cricut app as a print then cut file. After I've shrunk it to the size of the magnet that I want, I go on to printing the design on my matte sticker paper with the bleed option turned on. If you want to see the best printing settings for artwork, I have a step-by-step -step explanation of the settings in my laminated LGBT kitty video. So go check that video out after this one too. After it's done printing, you're going to need to preheat your laminator. I needed to make sure mine was set to the 5 mil setting to cover the thickness of the magnet sheet, the sticker sheet, and the laminate sheet that I was going to run through it. I cut off the extra sticker paper to save for printing more stickers and to only add as little as possible to the magnetic sheet. Once you cut the magnetic sheet to what you need, I nicked myself the other day. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. There you go. Don't cucumbers have seeds? Then apply the sticker right onto the magnetic sheet. Then I added the whole thing into the laminate pouch. Now, you don't have to worry about the laminate sheet getting on the back of the magnet because apparently it doesn't stick to it. Now, you just run it through the preheated laminator. See, well, this part is very skinny compared to the other part. After that, I cut off the excess laminate sheet and add it to my cutting mat with the edge of the sticker paper as close to the edge of the mat's markings as possible. The reason I do this is because when the Cricut uses the print then cut feature, it looks for that black box around the design. Because it doesn't know what you're doing with it, it's going to expect that that box is going to be in the top left of the mat. So I want to put it there as close to the possible so there's less margin for error when it goes to look for it. Now, when you go to load your cuts up in the Cricut app, I found that using the printable magnetic sheet under more pressure with a deep cut blade was the best for cutting it with a laminate sheet on. Make sure you switch to the deep cut blade and that the star wheels are pushed all the way over to the right side so it allows space for the thickness of the magnet sheet to go under the Cricut. And that extra piece hanging off the sticky part of my mat kept interfering, so I just taped it down. Now, one thing you need to know about the Cricut's print then cut feature is that the machine uses a light reflecting off the surface of the paper to figure out where the cut lines need to go. White is bright and the black is darker. Sometimes when you use a glossy or reflective surface, the machine has a hard time seeing those lines because all the surface, including the black, reflects light back into the lens. So to combat that issue, you can use a frosted tape that you can get from any office supply store. You just need to tape it in the one inch area near all four corners of the black box. Because the tape is a little matte, it keeps the shiny laminate from reflecting the light into the lens. Now you're clear to cut and it shouldn't have any issues reading it. 
Make sure you check that the cut went all the way through before unloading it from the Cricut. I used this technique in my resin keychain video, so if you want to see the full technique, I'll link it up in the right corner. Once it's cut all the way through, unload it from the mat. And here's the only beauty shots that I got of the magnet for some reason. Nani? Chancla. Y muchas veces hasta que entiendas. I don't know why I didn't shoot more. I think I wanted to get some beauty shots of it on the car, but my sibling went on a trip with their car the day I gave it to them, and then they came back and they were all sun faded. I don't know, here's some footage of it. All right, Felix, let's go look at them. Yeah, so here's what they look like. It's been about two months now on the car. They're all faded in color. Colors are all weird. Yeah, I know I'm telling them, Felix. Colors are all weird. There's like, like water damage here. Just weird because this, this paper is waterproof. We have this one. Same thing. I mean, it still looks pretty good. Uh, definitely, it was like vibrant yellow. Now it's like more of a pale, pale yellow. They don't look that great, and it's probably the sticker paper. And as you saw from that video, we also made that stupid student driver magnet because it was a funny joke my sibling thought of a while back and we made it into a real world product for them. I have another mm, funny joke for you. Now, I'm not really sure why the magnets got like that. I know that the sticker paper we use is waterproof, but maybe because of the laminate, it kept the water sealed under the plastic long enough to cause damage. And I've never seen my stickers fade like that, but I guess I've never left them on a car in the sun for several weeks either. So there's that issue too. Anyways, it's definitely some testing we're gonna have to do on our end before we even think about selling some of those magnets because this will not do. If you have any suggestions for methods or paper we should try, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you liked the video, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing because there's another car that's driving by. And as always, if you liked the video, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing because I make art-related videos at least twice a month. Any interaction on this video will help me keep growing the graveyard, so leave your favorite emoji below. I don't know. And if there's anything you'd like to share with me, art-related or not, tag and follow me on any of my social medias. I post things on those regularly that you don't see here on YouTube. And until next time, see ya! Yeah.